Uh, RT under attack. Our international website, RT.com, went down today after a massive DDoS attack. A hacker group calling itself Anti-Leaks is taking responsibility on Twitter. The attack disrupted RT's coverage of the Pussy Ryle trial, the now notorious punk rock band that staged a protest at Russia's Christ the Savior Cathedral. The whistleblowing website WikiLeaks tweeted, quote, WikiLeaks condemns the attempt to censor RT. RT is an important alternative voice in the West. RT's Tom Barton has the story. If you try to go to RT's website today, you may well see this message instead of the actual website. That's the result of a DDoS cyber attack, which struck many hours ago and has made RT.com unavailable around the world. On Twitter, a group calling itself AntiLeaks is claiming responsibility for the attack. They linked in their tweets to the topics Julian Assange and WikiLeaks. They also made a joke about their show that Julian Assange hosted on RT, saying that they wanted to see him smoking cigars and drinking whiskey, but that they weren't able to because of this attack. Those and other tweets indicate that they wanted to stop RT's coverage of the granting of diplomatic asylum to the WikiLeaks founder by Equator's embassy in London. A DDoS, or distributed denial of service attack, is where attackers use remotely controlled computers around the world to flood a website with too much traffic for it to handle. AntiLeaks has previously attacked WikiLeaks' site itself with DDoS as well, but they say that their primary target is Julian Assange himself, describing him as a new breed of terrorist. The group says they're based in the USA. There's much speculation as to who AntiLeaks actually are. And an update there, RT is back up and running after that hack attack. That was RT's Tom Barton.